Man, what's good with the collective? Y'all know we back with another banger, another reaction. I appreciate everybody who been tapping in, running up, and subbing up. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell so you always notified whenever we drop them uploads. Y'all know we coming with about four videos every smooth seven, man. And this is for entertainment purposes as well. And when you like and comment and subscribe to the channel, helps collective grow, helps collective get bigger, helps more people who like this type of content tap in with this content. But even if you watch it on your TV and you haven't subbed up yet, it's still all love. I wish you a smooth seven as well. But y'all know we coming with the fire ass clips. So today, I ain't gonna hold you. We're gonna get straight to the video, man. Let's go. You don't know 99% of the sports games is fixed. Huh? You don't know that? There's something wrong. Fix. It's a hundred trillion dollar industry. And they get these punk black sons of yours a hundred million dollar con and then death they ain't opened up nothing. They don't own nothing. Huh? Michael Jordan was living in his car, broke the last Two years before they killed him. Huh? But they play. Have you ever heard of Aaron Valenti? The woman who claimed to have proof that we live in a simulation on Earth. She was a tech entrepreneur and the CEO of Tinker Ventures, a company that worked on some of the coolest web and mobile apps. But her story took a dark and mysterious turn in October. 2019. Before her death, Aaron made a series of frantic calls to her family, saying things like, it's all a game, it's a thought experiment, we're in the matrix. Sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, right? Aaron had been attending tech conferences in California when she suddenly went missing. Five days later, she was found dead in her rental car in San Jose. The official cause of death was acute manic episode, but the strange and unsettling nature of her final messages has left people in the tech world and beyond buzzing with speculation. What do you think about this mystery? Let us know in the comments. Whether it's the North or South, Korea is well known for its unbelievable lifestyles. But the nth room caught my attention in the worst way. The nth room was this infamous chat room on the dark web. Well, it consisted of many different chat rooms, but the whole entire shebang was known as the nth room. The nth room is where women of all ages, old, middle age, 20s, young, small children were all tortured, essayed, even tried for the amusement of over 200,000 pain anonymous members. To even become a member of these chat rooms, you would have to submit proof of you of or a woman or a small girl in your family or anyone close to you you would have to submit just disgustingness somewhere in the years of 2018 and 2019 a group of perverted criminal minds would come together and start this havoc on the popular app known as telegram it would initially start with the user known as god god whose real name is moon hyung Wook. God God would start what we know today as the nth rooms. Some of these rooms would be called the female child room, slave room, and anybody who knows about the nth rooms, the infamous doctor's room. The nth rooms were consisted of multiple rooms, just under different names, but the same sinister evil content. Actually, the more wicked the room, the higher people would pay. And of course, some would submit small payments, you know, 25, 50, $100. But there were high paying users, paying anywhere from 1,000 to 10,000, 20, 30, 40, $50,000. And I'm pretty sure you guessed it, the nth rooms were consisted of about 99.9% .9 males, if not completely 100% males. 
they would blackmail young girls out of very, very private and personal information and use this information to get them to do whatever they wanted. This would usually start with blackmailing the young girls out of very explicit photos and video of them. Not just girls, but just small children even. These men would pay top dollar to watch these girls be humiliated and tortured. They would have them lick the urine off of public toilet seats. They would have them carve the word slave into their bodies. They would even have some of them insert live, live insects into their private parts. As we know, though, average citizens do not have money like that to just blow, to, to watch things like this, to spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to have girls do these kind of things. You would have to be like we know some of them were celebrity figures in Korea. They were doctors. They were lawyers. They were public figures. They're celebrities that were in, in this. But unfortunately, a lot of them would get away with this and they're still walking free today. A lot of the creators were arrested and put into prison, but the viewers, the ones who paid for these despicable crimes, are still walking amongst us. How this video is not viral by now, I don't know. But there is a woman at a park in what I'm assuming is an apartment complex, and this swing is just swinging back and forth by itself. It's absolutely creepy. It's eerie. It's everything that ghostly stories are made of. Just watch. Just Ain't no man <laughs> hard enough in the world. The craziest part is that it's at the same like velocity. It never speeds up or slows down. It is as if someone is sitting on the swing and enjoying their day in the park. I'm gonna tell you right now, I am a firm believer in the paranormal, as y'all probably have figured out. If I was this woman, I would go to the leasing office and ask the manager or whoever which one of the units in this building had a child that passed away. Because there's no way that this swing is just swinging by coincidence. That's somebody's baby on that swing. This person had a crazy experience and you guys have tagged me in this nonstop. So we're going to watch it. I'll let you know my thoughts after. Although it is not Deja Reve. It is a secret third thing and i would love to know if anyone has ever experienced anything like what i'm about to say so this happened in november end of november in 2021 i was living with my ex at the time and we were making dinner i'm standing at the island in the kitchen and she has her back turned to me she's facing the toaster and she's and i remember this specifically because she was toasting bread to go with her spaghetti and i was having a thought process of i've never heard i just had never heard of anyone toasting bread to go with their spaghetti i'm sure that that's a thing like i've heard of garlic bread and spaghetti but i just hadn't thought of like toast with spaghetti so i was thinking about that again her back is facing me she starts talking all of a sudden in the middle of her sentence my ears start ringing like crazy disclaimer this is when i start to sound absolutely insane okay you don't have to tell me i know i feel a sensation i have never felt before which is the feeling of being above my body and slamming back into it as if I was just somewhere else and I have just arrived in my body. And in the same way, you know, when you wake up from a dream and like you're clinging to the details of the dream and it just starts to slip through your fingers the moment you wake up like that, I was starting to forget where I just was. But I was repeating a few things over and over again in my head from where I just was. And those two things were, why am I here again? I've already done all this and I have to do it right this time. Again, why am I back here? I've already done all this and I have to do it right this time. Over and over, that was all I, that was all I retained from it, but it was a physical sensation of dropping into my body, like almost like I respawned in a video game. I had this distinct feeling that I was older. Like I, and I'm, I don't know how to say that without sounding insane, but the first few moments of me being back in my body were spent looking around in disbelief and wonder that I was back here again, which terrified me. And simultaneously, almost as if it was like a visual, and I know this sounds crazy, almost visually, I can see in front of me the paths from that exact moment on one of the two, like paths if you will is me responding normally to what my ex was saying like she was saying something about her pasta bread and i responded normally to that and then on the other side was the one that i felt like i was on was the one where instead of responding to the bread comment i said hold up i just had the most insane
deja vu of my life. But before I felt the path fork sort of situation, for a split second, it felt as if, and I know this sounds insane, but it's important, it felt like I was holding two memories of the same moment, and then they changed, and then that path went that way, and I went this way, and I could no longer see that, and then it all faded. It was all over in like 10 seconds. But this is where it gets insane. I say, hold up, I just had the most insane deja vu of my entire life. I went, I feel like I just slammed back into my body. That's all I said. I'm expecting her to just be like, wow, that's crazy because that's what everyone always does. Instead, she turns around and looks at me with absolute horror in her face and says, wait, that happened to me today too. She said, I was standing in the aisle hanging things at work and I felt like I slammed back into my body. And she said, I didn't even say it out loud. She said, I felt like I was holding two memories of the same moment and then it split. And we just stood there staring at each other in absolute disbelief absolute disbelief and i never was the same after that stinked and it's never happened before and it's never happened since and it me up because those are the only two things i remember like why why was my thought i have to do it right this time do what do what right this time that's a lot of pressure what happened last time did i die and then respawn for real anyway my whole life changed after that and for the record i'm pleased with my life now like we're good everything's great I, has has anything like this ever happened to any of you? I don't have words for it. And since we're on the topic, I felt like it might be a good time to bring it up because I've been searching for answers. Also, fun fact, me telling that story was actually the first video I ever recorded on this TikTok account. It's still sitting in my drafts. I obviously never posted it, but I, rec I recorded that video like right after it happened because it was so insane that I was like, I feel like I should share this with the internet. But then I was scared of the internet back then. So I didn't, but now I'm telling it. And um, does anyone know what it was? Thank you so much. So I'm really torn on this, right? Because the like going back into your body like that gives me astral projection vibes. Like when you're astral projecting and then you like whoop, back into your body. But the fact that things were different afterwards and you felt like you were older gives me quantum immortality vibes. Like you died in hot timelines. I don't know how you died. Maybe the toaster blew up. But then the fact that the girlfriend also experienced it earlier and the fact that you saw like you literally had both memories at the same time and chose a different path and you were told to choose a different path. Like what? Then that can't be quantum immortality. It's like something was giving you the option like, hey, you just screwed this up and it's going to take you down like a road that you don't want to eventually go down. Maybe not even now, maybe like this road of doing this thing will lead you down this path. That's not going to be good for you. Make a different choice. Um, but this is, and to literally see like path, like footsteps paths is so cool. This whole thing is so cool and so intriguing. I have not heard anything like this. I'm not positive on what happened. I mean, I'm never positive on what happened. I have no idea. I'm just guessing, but I'm not even positive on my speculations. I need to hear everybody else's thoughts and speculations in the comments. Please let me know what you think. What y'all think that was? Astro projecting? Which, well, like timeline jumps? What y'all think, man? I don't know. I never heard of nothing like that. At first, I thought it was about to go like a deja vu route. Clearly, she said it wasn't that. The feeling of jumping back into your body, like I think a lot of us have had that experience and felt what that felt like. But I don't know all the details she was talking about. That's kind of different. Like, I ain't heard that one before, but I did have a friend tell me one time he got in a bad car accident and he was air flighted to the hospital. And when they got him there, they asked him, he, well, he was in a coma for, for a mini mini. And when he got up, we had throw him a party and stuff. So we all chilling, we talking. He told me, this is his words. He said when he was in his coma, he seen two angels. I'm thinking this is conscience could have been angels he said it was angels and they was floating around and he said they told him uh you got a choice either you can come with us or you could live he said he told him he wanted to live he said there was one angel that was just more so more talkative and more um more full of character than the other one and this one replied to him with are you sure it's gonna hurt like a mother. And he said they flew off and he ended up waking up in the hospital bed. Ah, that, that's, that's a, hey, now it just reminded me of that story he told me. He told me that in like 2016, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, that was, that was a crazy story. I thought I'd let y'all know, but yeah, that was wild to me. Canada, um, stop paying their bills. 
Like they literally stop paying all of their bills, their mortgages, everything because they f***ing fed up. What are we doing? We need to come together. This is crazy. Now tell me how in the f***ing found a Homer Simpson f***ing toy looking her toy object thing in f***ing Egypt. Huh? Matt Gronin, you got some explaining to do. Matt Gronin got some explaining to do. See, I wasn't believing in this shit at first about the Homer Simpson Egyptian artifact, but then I remembered the Marge Simpson shit. This is crazy. As a m who the f is this? I want to see the real Homer Simpson now. Y'all gonna have to find that mother. That shit is crazy as f dog. Big facts. Now I told y'all, I thought this shit was a game, but I don't know more because then I remembered the Marge Simpson shit. Look at this Marge Simpson shit, dog. Whole ass Marge Simpson artifact found in Egypt too. They was worshiping this mother. Uh, Mac Ronan, you got some explaining to do, dog. How the f they got a Homer Simpson and a Marge Simpson. Y'all got Bart, Lisa, and Maggie out this motherfucker too. Sideshow Bob, the mother. Uh, the mother. You know, the Mouse Show. What else? What else y'all got? What else the y'all got from the census we talking about time traveling them up definitely y'all they've been here for a long time thousands of year old hieroglyphics and figurines to the simpsons and shit this is a crazy motherfucking world dog peace hey you cracking me up man last night right in my neck of the woods search and rescue was called out to Look for what appeared to be a baby that somebody captured on their security camera. Now they did what I believe any of us would do, I hope, and that is contact the authorities. So they came out, did their investigation, and they came to the conclusion that it was just a glitch. Now I don't know if I'm buying it, but I have gathered all that I could, and I'm gonna show you and just let me know what you think. All right, here is the original post. Here's a close-up of the baby. And here is the official report. Some more information with the timestamps. And right here, you can tell one minute apart, there's a baby and then poof, no baby. As if this isn't spooky enough, it gets even weirder. Her daughter took this picture and it looks just like the baby. Whoa. Y'all, so I gotta tell y'all what happened when me and my friend went to this restaurant, right? It's crazy. So we in a restaurant and it's this man's birthday. And I'm guessing he there with his wife, girlfriend, whatever. And so after people tell him happy birthday, whatever, and say happy birthday to him, he's like, yeah, we just had a baby. So the people's like, oh, well, congratulations. Da, 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 da. So he was like, yeah, she's so cute. She's so adorable, even though she was born with a tail. Me and my friend looked at each other like, okay, what did he just say? And then that's when he says, well, she gets it from her daddy because I was born with a tail, too. What? Now, I'm not trying to offend anybody because how you was born was how you were born. But I I, I really want to educate myself on this. So I, I am going to do some research and educate myself about this thing because I had. That was the first time that came out in public like that and I'm like there to witness it I couldn't help but wonder if the tail was back there wagging when they were singing happy birthday hey, I heard that's capable um I heard people with RH positive blood that's what I always was told like a whole uh, yeah that's, that's that's another rabbit hole to jump down but yeah, I remember getting told about that, and I, I've, yeah, I, I what y'all think? I, don't, I mean, there's nothing that surprises me anymore. Like, I'm open to 
whatever the damn case is now. If if it's they born with tails today and then people we know this is born with horns too after that, like I wouldn't be shocked. I wouldn't be shocked, bro. But yeah. But I think don't they get it don't they get it surgically removed after? Like when they're born? That's what I thought. I thought they get it surgically removed. But let me know what y'all know. Spam it up. This Uncle Mike, and this one is silly, but it's really true. I was born with a tail right there, and it was about that long. You can check your books. Some people are born with a tail. Shit, there you go. He said it for himself. He was born with one. When they say the truth is stranger than fiction, I think that's just a way of telling us that fiction is true, or at least there's some truth to fiction. When you watch The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, it's basically telling you a biblical story. A story of how invaders come, then there's an epic battle on the way between good and evil. No, it says they head on a journey to distant realms. So if you look at this map, right, You'll see the dragon in the water. You'll see that they're heading to the right very far until they get to a place called Middle Earth. And what I'm presuming in this movie, the evil spirits past the ice walls are much more greater and stronger. And the Lord of the Rings is hitting it that these battles are being fought on land that is beyond our land over the ice walls. And they take boats to get there. I also want to note, too, that the leader of all of the evil spirits and demonic entity is from a sorcerer, coincidentally named Sodon, who eerily resembles Satan because this evil is not flesh and blood, but a dark spirit manipulating the material. Now, this is why I say that they are traveling lands outside the ice walls, because if you notice... She is climbing the ice wall. See, they tell us in movies, in fiction, from what I believe is the truth. Because why are all they climbing the ice walls, right? So they're getting closer and closer to their destination in these weather storms where it's a constant blizzard. And in past the ice walls, she finds Sodon, or who I believe is Satan, his castle beyond the ice walls. And when they went to go explore Sodon's castle, they noticed that they were doing unseen worldly powers ancient forbidden magic I haven't seen that but I will go check that out let me know if y'all like it if y'all have checked it out and also I got a question Let's say, this for entertainment purposes. What if that that whole now that whole idea right there is really what is fact? Now let's say somebody got past the ice walls, right? And they seen that there was battles being fought on land past the ice walls, but they got to take boats to get there. Let's say that someone is, and you know that fight was good versus bad, and then let's say. You do got to get over those ice walls is what they were climbing. Constant blizzards, right? Okay, follow me, follow me, follow me. What if... When they said they seen... Quote, unquote, Satan's castle. Let's say we did go over there and we seen a castle. And it was Satan's castle. Since God sits above the firmament. Does that mean this is hell? 
I'm just asking, cause his castle's there. His castle wouldn't be there if this if that wasn't hell. And if this is lined up with that, would this be considered hell if that was to all play out in real life and not be in a fictional movie, but it's really the truth in plain sight? I'm asking. It's for entertainment purposes. I'm not saying I believe it. I'm just asking. I ain't even seen the movie to say I believe it. But if let's keep an open mind here, if that was the case. Is that does that mean we are in hell? I'm asking. I'm only asking, man. Let me know. Don't get offended or insulted. I don't mean no disrespect. It's literally just disturbed conversation. Let me know, please. This pilot from Yakutia couldn't be believed until he showed this video. Flying over the mountains of Yakutia, he saw a strange stripe. But upon closer inspection, he was shocked by an infinitely long fence. But even more mysterious is that exactly the same wall is hidden at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. Not long ago, this wall could be seen on Google Maps, but today cartographers have erased all mentions and photos of this fence. Researchers divers say that at the base in some places there are strong disruptions resembling explosions, and the height is uneven, becoming lower in some places. But the scariest thing discovered at the base of these walls is broken equipment of unknown civilizations. That shit is crazy. <laughs> the entrance to the inner earth is at the poles. The inner earth is a real physical place with suns and rivers and oceans where real people are living. There was trade between the inner earth people and the people above. The trade agreement was violated. It was violated by the humans. It kicked off. The church shut down all the tunnels that were leading to the inner earth. And there's documentation that proves that. Why would the church do that? That's my question. If that's real, that's facts. Why would they do that? There's about a, a billion different answers I could come up with, but I'm really got to I really got to dive deeper before I'm going to just start throwing stuff out there cuz I really want to know what would they shut the tunnels off for and why would the trade be violated? Why would our trade agreement be violated? I I don't know, man. I can I can only imagine. Let me know what y'all feel. Are you guys aware that we have an inner earth civilization that lives underground? Earth is actually hollowed out, and it's different beings that live inside the planet. Inner Earth is called Agartha, with the capital city being Shambhala. This is a real place, and these beings that stay there have a higher conscience than us and more spiritually advanced. The women inside of Agartha is 10 to 12 feet tall, and the men are even taller. These beings have the conscience of the ninth and the 12th dimension. Meanwhile, us up here on the surface are anywhere from the third to the fifth dimension. And they are the ones who run the capital city of Shambhala. You would also have the Daros. These are really tall, heavy set people, and they need an advanced wheelchair to get around. Their wheelchairs will levitate in the air and take them anywhere they need to go. These species of people also mix their seeds with each other and made new species. We have portals and stargates underground, and they are protected by the guardians. Some of these people inside the earth are survivors of the Atlantis flood. That is also known as Noah's flood in the Bible. And majority of these people use telepathy. They will send brain waves through your brain to communicate with you. So these beings rarely talk in the inner earth. And they will only let the righteous ones come down. Peace and Ashe. Hope y'all like the lecture. Hey, come invite me. When are y'all watching that? I have been told by a man who worked for the Defense Intelligence Agency for 23 years that the National Science Foundation of the United States has scientists that are meeting and collaborating with extraterrestrials in Antarctica in this deep underground installation, something that one of the military people said to me. The walls had hieroglyphs, but the walls did not join with the ceiling. He said, we can only conclude that we are dealing with technology that is neutralizing gravity. Advanced beings could deliberately have isolated Antarctica under deep ice and snow, like a partition from the rest of the world as a terraforming strategy to cohabit on Earth while ensuring that the alien base at the South Pole would be hidden. Tell you. If anybody that is from the inner earth is watching this right now, 
Y'all want to invite me, bro? I'm all for it. I ain't coming to... I come in peace. I ain't coming to disturb no ruckus. I just want to have the experience of knowing what it was like. Bringing some of that back to the surface and be able to help humanity with what we got all down over here all effed up, bro. So, like, yeah, I would love to see what that's... I heard it's dope down there. I heard it look... I, 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 I heard it's some shit that you would see in a movie. I heard it look dope, so I want to see what it look like, man. And then come back and tell the collective, like, yo, I seen it on Earth, bro. No, some people ain't going to believe me, but who cares? If I, hey, I don't care. As to when the timing, when it could hit, Robert, I mean, you saw what happened the first week of August, right? We had the crash. We had a crash. And then everything kind of went away in the span of 48 hours or less than 48 hours. I mean, was that just a, a prelude of things to come? I mean, what's going to... What's going to bring down the system? Well, again, but what Rickards is saying here is really accurate. You know, he's just, he says you can't see it. That's the problem. And the biggest markets in the world are the bond markets. And you have every, ask any financial planner, oh, should I buy bonds? Yes, they're safe. And the whole thing is coming down because it's all corrupt. And so that's why for all these years, it's gold and silver. I own gold mines, silver mines, all that stuff. Robert, it could happen overnight is what you're saying. It's happening. The crash has already started. As Rickard said, we entered a depression in 2008. Uh, that, again, you know, he's a smart boy. Definition of a, defin of a depression is subprime growth. So America and the world has not grown. You know, like he talks about here, how Credit Suisse went bankrupt. Nobody says anything. So called the safest bank in the world, Credit Suisse is bankrupt. But we can't see it. And so what's happening is that it starts, keeps crashing. But we can't see it. And that's why all these years is gold, silver. I had Bitcoin to it. I'm a big silver bull, as you know. I own silver mines. I started, uh, you know, we have a mine in... Uh, Utah, the biggest, the richest gold mine in America today. So I'm a hardcore believer of gold and silver, real money, not fake. So let's talk about Simone Biles and her evil instructions. Like I said, if you've watched the movie They Live or the TV show Evil, you understand. What she was dealing with was some demonic things. People don't believe in demons, so I just say evil people are in the spiritual realm, the astral realm, the micro realm, whatever you want to call it, they're in another realm doing things. And TV shows will show you through actors who is doing what. Mind you, I had a dream about Simone Biles back in the day and she was in a prison and they were putting her legs backwards and really hurting her. But he just, he got attacked in prison before because that's what he get. But they were doing a ritual on Simone Biles. So it's no coincidence they look like, plus September 7th is the birthday of Queen Elizabeth I who has red hair, red hair ritual. Also has to do with Jonathan Owens, whose birthday is 722, 27 is Gematria. This is Mary Magdalene. So this was with Mama Bridget, St. Bridget, and Bridget of Sekeldar. Now I know we made it to the end of this. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell so you always notified whenever we drop them uploads. I know we coming with about four videos every smooth seven. And this is for entertainment purposes as well. And when you like and comment and subscribe to the channel, helps collective grow, helps collective get bigger, helps more people who like this type of content. Tap in with this content. I told y'all we're going to come with about six videos. I told y'all I was and out of this seven. I would give y'all six. Only that I was going to miss was Wednesday. And that was my appreciation to y'all, to the collective. That's my appreciation, man. It's an honor to be here. But, you know, today's the fifth video. So y'all get one more, which will be on Sunday. And then it's back to the regular four. Man, you know, I'll go ahead and hook y'all up again. But I appreciate y'all, man. I love y'all. I wish y'all nothing but love in a smooth seven. But until I see y'all in the next one, y'all know what it is. We gone. <laughs> Just check my count, check, sheesh, at the 